Hello to everyone and welcome to yet another episode of log, random stuff, philosophy and whatever the hell, who knows what I'm doing right here. So let's get down to business. So I'm gonna tell you now, from now on, how every episode will be structured and how its general layout will be put. First I'm gonna talk about the previous episode stuff like comments, thoughts and maybe some other, other thing I need to state to make th things clear. By the way, I will put some sort of a jump to action frame in the beginning of the video all the time so that if for example you want to skip a part of the video that is not interesting to you you can just uh, go to that time frame and then enjoy what you like from these kinds of videos that I post. Alright so now let's begin with the last episode's aftermath part of which are the comments and my own thoughts. Sharky PW says first lol he also said try posting like some highlights of your live streams Johnny Boy the Fool says, Okay, try to make some music that you could include in your videos, for example an intro and or an ending music so you don't make weird endings to your videos. Also, I've said this before but try, li try listening videos more consistently. You don't have to post every day but for example I do Oblivion videos for a week sometimes and then stop for a month. Even if I have to do smaller sessions in order to release more free okay grammar whatever go for it FYI that's for incentivation. Anyway what he states in this comment which makes sense to me is that I should try to post videos more uh, on a regular basis and make some sort of a music. Like I've said in the previous video, I need to like create art for the internet of some sort. So music would be a good thing, but I just have to start to watch videos, um, vi tutorial videos for Fritty Loops to do that. He is right. I should post videos more frequently. Problem is right now, I am still I'm trying to save up some money so I can buy action because it really is worth it and I really would like to use it some more. And I am gonna try to post videos more frequently after I get my hands on action again. And he also asked, oh my god did you hurt yourself? No don't worry I didn't hurt myself, I think everybody got the fact that um, I just did it out of fun and I had to end the video somehow so no I did not hurt myself. Hi the town FC1 says, has your hair always been frizzy after like? Well, genetically, yes, it has always been like that. Um, but not until I was like, I think, 14 years old, it began to like curl itself up. Be uh, before that, it was always straight. Both my parents are curly haired, so it was kinda natural that I would have curly hair as well but at the beginning I was kinda like man I don't really wanna have curly hair because I would look ugly and blah 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 but look at me now holy shit my my hair is so awesome I would never want it to go away but but it's kind of a pain to manage to keep it so awesome looking like because after I go to sleep and wake up it's all like pressed against my head and it looks pretty bad but anyway enough about that yes my hair theoretically has always been like that. Superman agrees to what Johnny says about the music stuff. Alright, more the reason that I should do that. Chaos Symphonia, a regular stream viewer, has said I was completely taken off guard when you said you have curly hair. Yeah. Marina Fool said the last part scared me. And I replied to her, I did it only because it was fun for me. And I don't know what she tried to say here but I think only for you. Whatever, I like you. You have a sick mind. Well, thank you very much, Mariana Fool. Um, about the first and last weird part of the previous video. Honestly, I think I didn't get the response for from the viewers as I as expected to get. I thought it would be more funny. Honestly, I think more that um. It was more fun fun for me to do personally than for the people to watch it because seriously I had I had incredible fun editing and making the last video it was 
just a blast. I loved it, and I honestly do not care what you uh, what you think about that. It was just for pure rand randomness, and some people might have laughed, some might have not. But point is, hopefully you enjoyed, and if not, oh well, you you can just ignore that. Okay, I don't know for certain who this guy is here, but I'm gonna try to translate what he said to me, and we are gonna have a discussion about this, son. You have a problem. Step out of the house a bit to socialize. Not through webcam or chat or shit like that, but face to face. It should fix a lot of your problems. Gonna come by and have a serious discussion. Whoever you are, thank you very much for your concern, but let me, um, calm you down a little because honestly I am very happy how I am how I am right now I um, do not need to socialize face to face honestly I do not have that need that much I'm more of the type that likes to spend time alone and have fun how I think I want to have fun because that's the point I have my own way of having fun so and by the way I can actually socialize face to face for example Yesterday, I went to some guy's um, 18th birthday party when he became a man, finally, he is an adult. Yeah, point is, I, have, I had a lot of fun there and I socialized like hell, like I, I drank a lot, I laughed a lot, I made everyone laugh a lot and... I danced, I did everything you could do at a party. I am a person who knows how to socialize, but the thing is, I do not need to socialize because I'm the type of person who likes to do stuff alone, like spend time at the, at the computer and have fun like that. Like, you wouldn't think that I would have so much fun at a party if I am the type of person who, who stays 16 hours a day at the computer. No, you definitely would not think that about me, but there you go Anyway, I cannot show you how, f how much fun I had at the party, but I did so you should take my word for it Anyway, thank you. Thank you for your concern and we shall talk about this in the topic coming in a few seconds now Because this comment is very heavily tied to it. So stay up for that. The reason to be a very big question that should be very good to start off our very big chain of philosophy questions that I will continue throughout this series. What is my reason to be? Well, I will tell you that after I make a quick generalization of what should everyone's reason to be be. <laughs> By the way, if I do not make myself clear in my videos, especially the philosophy parts of them, then please tell me how am I wrong or how can I make myself more clear, and I will in the next episode. So pay attention here to what I'm saying. This should be the driving motive that keeps you moving forward in life. It's like the way you live so that it does not feel like an empty degenerating shell. Because our life is short. So we need to make it feel worthwhile by feeling good li living it. Everybody wants to do that one way or another through fun. I use the term fun in the most basic of terminology, in the way which everybody decides to use their time to make themselves feel better. What I'm saying is everybody's way of life should be fun. Again, I use this as a very general term. I am basically referring to life accomplishments and fulfillment. Before we go on with what I want, I'm gonna try to tell you my perfect idea of living the life. So here is my norm to meet when you live a life in the order of priority. Number one and number two tie together, they cannot be unbond because they cannot simply exist without one another. So number one is having fun, it's obligatory, it's for the long term accomplishment of feeling fulfilled in your life. And number two is surviving as long as possible while having fun. So you need to make a compromise between the two. For example, some people prefer to have a short-term fun 
so that they sacrifice the possible long-term fulfillment. My perfect idea is that you should find a way to survive while having fun doing so. I'm talking about jobs. For example, find the perfect job for you that makes you enjoy what you are doing. This is exactly what I'm doing now, kind of tying into what I want to do now, but I'm giving you an example. For example, there may be politicians that have the power, they have control over an immense part of people's lives, but they are not happy. Why? Who knows, it depends on their mentality. They may be thought that having so much power would make them happy, but they are not. Just talking generally here. What should they do? They should either search more deeply for the fun they deeply desire in their work, or they should just quit and seek whatever is in their heart they feel they need to be doing. So what I'm saying here, have fun and feel happy while doing what you are doing to survive. That's why number one criteria and number two criteria cannot be unbond and they are, have the same priority, for me at least. Number three, sacrifice everything in your power to make the fun and the surviving experience as long as possible. This means that, let's say, if you lose a leg and you're a runner, then you kinda think, well, what's the point in life? I kinda wanna suicide now because I cannot continue living my life because I do not feel accomplished anymore just staying in this freaking wheelchair or bed all day. And this is stupid, what's the point of, of me living? But if you can sacrifice other parts of your life to continue your Again, I'm saying fun. This is the simplest term I can use here. Sorry if I'm confusing you or anything, but I would rather use simple words to describe what I'm trying to say. So, sacrifice everything you can to um, make your fun and surviving uh, combination last longer so that your life at the end feels even more fulfilled. Some people may know what I'm talking about. Some people with very deep passions know what I'm talking about. They would rather go say, screw you family, I do not need you. I have my freaking dream here to be living and I do not need you, need you anymore. Some people may actually do that. They may regret it at the beginning, but after that they will just freaking forget about it and enjoy uh, continuing their dreams. Now, not to say go kill your freaking family because they do not let you uh, live your dream. No, 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 no. Live your life while not changing the life of others. Well, dramatically anyway. Let's say we are talking very rough in the general terms here. You, you can like just leave them alone and stuff but don't kill them or anything let them live their own life you know don't bother the other person's life that's the whole point of this gonna talk about all of these in the future don't you worry I have a lot of philosophy topics to cover which all tie together in what's known as existence oh the fun of existence it's so interesting I like it I like my ideas in my own head and I like to share them at the same time. I think I've pretty much covered the basic um, ideas that I have in my mind of the of my perfect life. Not saying that any, ev everyone thinks the same, but I'm pretty happy, happy about my idea and that's how I am trying to live it. So, what is my way of living the life? What is my raison d'etre? I don't know if I said that correct or not, but who cares? This. This right now, what you're seeing right here, this is what I am doing with my life, basically. I am trying to share my mind with the world in many ways, through entertainment, philosophy, and I don't know, anything in between, I guess. Okay, the main idea is that I am trying to make the world, or at least the internet, a better place. Now you may think that's very gullible and naive. Well, let me tell you this little philosophy for you, my friend. Let's say here is infinity, right? If you 
so uh, take away one from infinity absolutely nothing happens to it it's like untouch untouchable but if you take inf uh, one times infinity from infinity well it kind of breaks that's what happens like for example voting you may say well I'm not gonna vote because I don't give a shit well good for you it's not like it's gonna affect anything but if everyone voting would think like that and would stop voting there would be no point to that right so you would think you matter but you don't matter at the same time because if everyone would have the same ment mentality then everything changes that's why different people have different thoughts so back to my point if everyone would think um, the way you think the person who think I'm gullible and naive then either they would there would be nothing or anarchy with the world or chaos I guess but you can continue to think how you think it's not bad in any way because again there are so many types of people who think in so many ways that it does not matter you don't do not affect anything by the way you're thinking do not worry about that we are not we are not robots in mass production yet yet i hope not it's gonna be kind of weird anyway yeah i'm trying to make the world a better place through sharing my thoughts basically and the way I share my thoughts is through the entertainment medium which are games, videos and all the stuff I mentioned in the previous video. And remember the first and second criteria of living the life which I mentioned before? That's how I am doing it. I am trying to have an extreme amount of fun while doing that. It's like the perfect world I'm living here honestly except the fact that I'm I barely have anyone to share it with so please help me share my thoughts with other people you know so that I feel more accomplished please because I'm a greedy motherfucker which needs attention okay I'm having some fun here and I hope you're having too because this is extremely fun to do big ass freaking mug on my face main ideas of my reason to be I am having fun while doing what I do to feel accomplished. I am playing on the computer, doing videos, editing, creating all sorts of digital art. When I can, I will actually create all sorts of digital art. And um, doing all that fun, I am actually sharing my thoughts with the world in, in the hope that I am creating a better world. Crap, someone is at the bathroom. Holy shit, I'm being spied. Accomplishing the third criteria, having the mentality I currently have, I am actually somewhat willing, at least I think I am, I'm not sure because I don't, didn't really have to sacrifice anything major to um, do what I need to do, but I think I am willing to sacrifice major parts of my, let's say, should have been sh normal life so that I can accomplish my dreams. So, all I need right now is an audience to share my thoughts with. I think I've said the same thing like three times by now about everything time wasting. Kinda too lazy to make this scripted. It would be much shorter, believe me, but it's less time wasted for me rather than wasted for you. Well, wasted if you do not agree with what I say but even then it's kind of a learning thingy you learn how other people think and then you may even change your own mentality so nothing you do is not worthwhile in a sense anyway and now to end this philosophy topic I am gonna hint or actually I'm just gonna directly say what the next week's topic is all about what drives everything we do? I mean, everything that I have said so far. You want to have fun, you want to survive, and you may or may not be willing to sacrifice anything for accomplishing your survival and your fun. I kinda said that wrong, but who cares? Anyway, what is that? Hint, hint? Maybe some people guessed? Maybe they didn't. It's selfishness your ego your black hole freaking ego I'm gonna talk about selfishness in the next episode because that's exactly what drives everybody to doing what they do
short vlog today I'm gonna kind of talk about my birthday it's approaching it's um, my 18th birthday where I live in Romania it actually means that I am becoming an adult and that may put a lot of responsibilities that I may not like or consider to be right on my shoulders and it may or may not be something bad or something good I don't know it depends on how every person person sees it and my parents have already asked me what exactly I wanted but I kinda thought about well do I really wanna take more money for them I mean come on if I would be a parent I wouldn't give shit to my freaking kid when he becomes 18 years old because I would give him a lot one day before he becomes 18 years old because then that's the last day when he is actually my child that that's what I would do <laughs> kind of pointless but anyway makes sense to me so yeah they have been offering me stuff or at least asking me what exactly did I want and what do I want well kind of time wasting to tell them exactly what I want because then they would try to give me that exact thing when I can do it myself and be more uh, I feel better by doing it myself type of thing so what I ask for is just money just give me all the money you're willing to give to me and I'm gonna freaking buy whatever I want okay that's that I think is actually the best uh, thing you should give as a present to anyone because because come on thinking about the gift it's 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 Ooh, too too complicated honestly you need to at least know half the person you are giving the present to to ha to have a chance of finding finding a very good present G good thing um because when i went yesterday at some guy's 18th birthday i knew his passion his passion were um motors motorcycles and all that great automobile stuff so i bought him some kind of a some kind of a scale model of a motorcycle and surprise surprise to my surprise he actually loved it so so much to the point that I would have thought hey if I would have gave, given him money he definitely wouldn't have thought to buy that model motorcycle it was a kind of a scale model of some very old like maybe before the 50s motorcycle it was really old and it was made out of uh, bits of metal welded together it was like very very small like this and it looked pretty cool and I think well what the hell let's let's take that even though I still thought money would be a better option but I don't think he would have gotten the happiness he got then so it's kind of a gamble it's a very high risk you could take but still <laughs> a money is a safe bet because it actually makes the person think what he wants for sure and then he buys it and then he may learn something out of it or not I don't know anyway I'm starting to go in philosophies again point is it makes sense to give the, that person money instead of some f some object bought by you because it may it um, makes him buy something that he definitely thinks uh, that it may would make him happy so we wouldn't have to complicate yourself to buy something for him so yeah I had a lot of fun at the frickin party it was okay not many invites there were a lot of bikers as far as I have known at least eight four of which uh, left early at like 2 and 2 a.m and the rest stayed and they talked they danced a lot holy shit did they dance a lot I even danced myself at least a little well, so that they wouldn't say that I was the freaking boring most boring person at the party but yeah I, I danced a little it was kind of embarrassing to be honest but you saw the videos I posted right you saw the freaking videos I posted uh, do I th really think embarrassment is something I sh should care about in this freaking life of mine I don't give a shit <laughs> I could post my that would be kind of stupid anyway not embarrassing there's there's a difference between stupidity and embarrassment <laughs> anyway yeah and the last bit of my vlog I'm gonna kinda show you what's happened in my room because as you've noticed 
the door is now there instead of being behind me somewhere over there so what happened well you're gonna see right now right so what basically happens to my room is well there's my computer there's the socket you might have seen or not in the last episode I doubt it but anyway there's my window there's the other window oh and in the last episode I didn't say what the hell that was well it's basically just a dream catcher, I guess. I don't know if it does anything or what, but now it should be more effective because it is right underneath my freaking bed. Which is where my desk was previously. See, there's all the shit, there's where I showed you my freaking computer, and there's my bed now. Well, it's in a completely awkward place where... I cannot sleep that well anymore, even if the bed may, may be more comfortable. I cannot freaking lift my a ass up to get in the doggy style position because of the freaking radiator there, which is now not operating because it's summer. Anyway, 5 a.m. in the morning. Fun, yes, this is so much fun doing this. Oh yeah. And here's my desk now, carrying all the freaking. <laughs> cables with my webcam here so I can show you all this stuff I don't care if anybody says the lighting is not good on this cuz it does not matter you get what's happening that's all I care about not the fucking lighting I'm not a freaking studio here so yeah nothing else changed there's my smelly uh, freaking I don't even know how to call them in English at this point and nothing else has changed only the bed and the desk everything else is in place so I hope you enjoyed and I'm gonna see you later and I think that has been it I hope you enjoyed as always I always say that in my videos I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned so something out of this that's always important learn something from everything you do and the point of this episode is just have fun, have fun in life while not sacrificing anybody else's fun and be aware of your survival while having fun basically. Well, I think I have bombarded you with an el enough shitty illogical uh, philosophy for a day so Rohulk out and I hope you enjoyed again. I'm gonna talk to you guys next week hopefully and please Tell me what you think about what I've talked in this episode and that's pretty much it. See you.